friends welcome again and this is my new project online grocery store and i have developed this project in node.js react and mongo right so this is a modern based project where m stands for mongo e for express and r for react and n for node so this is a modern based project right so node version we have used node version uh, 21 right and along with the node we have used a mongo and the react so for designing we have used html css also right so also this is a major project which contains two types of uh, roles that is the admin and the second one is a customer right so admin can perform certain operation customer can purchase the grocery right so let's start with the features go through that what are the features what the modules are available inside this project so the project title is online grocery store this is a major project developed with modern technology right and once you run this project you will get this home page you can see this is the home page there is a banner coming on the home page there are some content and there are some categories coming on the home page so these categories are coming from the database right using the api which we have developed using the node right and this whole front end we have developed using the react application right so these are the category if you click on any category then you will be able to see the uh, uh, products belongs to that category right so this is the home page this is about project this is about the project right this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it if you want to change the content you can change it direct easily this is a category right all of the categories which is available in the database which you have added from the admin panel will be displayed here so there is a, a form available on the admin form admin admin side where you can add all of the categories and those categories after adding will after adding will be visible here right even you can search the category right if you search for the pulse right and if you click on search then it will be searched right so one more thing we are not hitting any type of api for searching it it's searching locally right through the array right once you click on the pulses you will be able to see the products belongs to that category right this is a all products right if you click on the all products you will be able to see all of the products so you can see this is all all of the products so currently we have added eight products but there is an admin portal for that where you can add n number of products right right this is a registration right if you don't have user id and password then you will not be able to purchase any of the uh, product then registration is mandatory login is mandatory without that you will not be able to purchase any of the products so this is a login from here uh, you will be able to log in so this is a centralized login for admin as well as the customer if admin login is inside the system the internal feature will be different if customer login then internal feature will be different right so uh, let me go through one by one so i am going to uh, going to login as an admin admin at the rate gmail.com the password is test once you log inside the system you will get this admin dashboard so this is the admin dashboard here you can see home page about product report right so home page about so these menus will also be available here you can see this is the app and this is a product right so these menus are also available here right so let me go through one by one so home page i already explained to you this is the about page this is a dashboard page now this is the add new product from here you can add the product right here product name this category this this is drop down contains the dynamic value which is coming from the database if you select if you add the category then that category will also be visible inside this drop down this is a product cost island description this is the product entry form and once you uh, enter all of the details and once you submit it it will, it will be saved inside the mongo database through api this is add net new category from here you can add the new category so you will fill the form and that category data will be saved inside the database this is the add new user from here you can register the user also as an admin right so again the report so this is a product report all of the product which you have added into the database will be displayed here even you can search the product here right if you search that word then you will be able to see the uh, search product here and even you can add the product on clicking on this button right this is a category report from here you can add the categories all of the categories which is available in the database is with is rendering here if you want to add a new category just click on that new category and you will be able to add the new category this is a customer report all of the registered customers will be displayed here you can add new customers same search facilities available here next one is the order report from here you can see all of the order right if you click on this you will be able to see the details of the order right order id and all of the things you will be able to see here right if you so you can see all of the details are available here right 
this is the logout feature so this above menu is a session driven and it renders according to the session currently it's showing the menu of the admin but if you log in if you log out then this add new and reports will not be displayed because it's rendered according to the session right so log out you can see the menu has been changed now i am going to log in as a customer so the customer id is amit at the rate gmail.com and the password is test right so this you can see the dashboard and the menu is different right because it renders it's check okay the customer only has login right and it renders according to that session right so here you can see my cards my orders and my account the same my card currently it's visible because you have not added any item into the cart right this is a my orders from here you can see the order orders once you click on this you will be able to see the orders right belongs to you only right this is a my account from here you can check your account details right now i am going to buy some product so i want to this one quick view so here i can this one five add to cart so this is i have added one item second one i want to add this one also add to cart so this is two items i have added and this one quick view add to cart so i have added three items right so total i have to pay is 700 rupees but if i want to delete any just click on delete and that will be deleted and the amount has been adjusted right once you click on the checkout then it will ask for card details so you can enter anything because this is a dummy card there is no real time payment right so you can select here and once you click on the submit your order number will be generated and you will be able to see your order history here right even if you want to see your order history just click on the this one and you can see this is the order history right if you click on this you will be able to see the details of the order right so this is the whole process right if you click on the logout then the whole session will be destroyed and you will be detected to the non-login page so you can see you have been detected to the non-login page so this is the whole features we have developed inside this project right which title is online grocery store system so as i told you earlier this is a major project which has two roles admin and the customer and we have developed this project using the morph technology mongo express react and node right so if you need any enhancement any new features inside this project just put into the comments and we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to our requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest noise thanks for watching the video thank you very much